Wabu and Massive, I'm FZiba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now today, we're gonna talk about a very important medicinal herb. But before I get into it, we just gotta tell you a little story. All right. So when I was little, around about seven, eight, nine, one of that age, um, one day I wake up and I was very sick. I had a bout of gastroenteritis and you know what that is guys. I was going to the bathroom frequently and I had vomiting and all kind of thing, right? And my mother, she was supposed to go to the country. I got cut the story short. So her friend now, I had to go. So her friend said, you know, me can't stop the whole thing. So the friend go outside man and dig up this um, plant. It was very very early in the morning i remember and the friend go outside and dig up the plant dig up the plant from the root and cut off the root and put it with some orange skin and family the friend boiled that for me and let me tell you something that was the last day for that entire week that i went back to the bathroom and the vomiting it stopped almost immediately so guys, that's how I came to be so passionate and how I came to love medicinal herbs. And today, we're going to talk about the Guinean weed. That is a plant that actually fueled my passion for medicinal herbs. So this is the Guinean weed plant family. This is what it looks like. We have a lot of young sprouts coming up. And I'm going to show you how to dig the plant. And I'm going to share a bit on the benefits of the plant with you. The best time to dig this is early in the morning before the sun comes up but you can dig it during the course of the day because the medicinal properties is still in it but the best time if you want to get the most of it in terms of medicinal properties then you dig this before the sun comes up all right so this part is where the seed is um when we were little we used to call this devil's horse whip and the reason why we used to call it devil's horse whip right some person said this is not devil's arse with this. There's another plant that looks like this that carries a similar thing. But this is what we used to call so. And the little children would ask you, where is the bottom and where is the top? They hold it like this. They like a stick here. And if you touch down here so, they drag it. And all of the little prickles come off in your fingers. Right? But I know some, of, some persons call another plant. If I can find one now, I'll show it to you. They call that one the devil's arse weed, but we also call this the same thing. So, Guinean weed is also called Anamo. And it has a whole lot of benefits. This plant, it is very good for males' prostate health. It is good to prevent cancers. And as I said, guys, I came in contact with this plant and came to love this plant because it is excellent for diarrhea, vomiting and it is very good also for fevers so when you have a fever you pick some amount of this right and you beat it out and you tie some around your head and you tie some on your body and this now they said that it pull the fever from the body it is also good for sinusitis so you can smell this but guys i can tell you that it has a very odd strange smell it smells very much like herb and even when you drink it um, you're gonna smell it when you go to the bathroom so this is a herb where preferably you take this when you're at home because you don't really want persons to smell it so much on you so here I'm gonna dig one of the mature plants I'm gonna show you how we dig it just to ensure that you dig around the root first because it's very strong So this is what the root of the guinean looks like very thick and guys you can just smell this this is where all the medicine is a very potent and powerful medicine but just about all of the plant can be used the seeds you can cook the seeds and you can have them over your salads and the leaves you can also use to make your tea this is one of the methods that we use to extract the medicine from the guinean weed 
we soak the roots of it in some rum whatever rum we have we just soak it in it and we leave it for a couple of days even weeks or months and we take a teaspoon of this as medicine so this has been soaking for a good while now